And we are back with more Legends of Amberland here at the Tower of Mist. Let's go ahead and buff up. Give us another plus one armor that's gonna that'll stack on top of the reinforced armor. Half damage from poison. Don't gotta really worry about that, but we'll take the uh, armor either way. It's time to get more crystals, baby. In motherfucking house. <laughs> All right, two more fairy dust. I think we need. Six total for our quest. Six additional bizags. Are we at four? Yes, we're at four. <laughs> What's up with this pecker? It's fucking cute. The ambitious young sorcerer. Fucking clobber that bitch. You've read a practical guide to magic tower construction, gained 40 experience, and how to get a wife using sorcery. My tower may not look most impressive, but it's the tallest in the entire realm. Alright, well we slam dunked that motherfucker. So you dealt with the problem? Good, very good. Here, take those flowers. He sent them, them he sent them to me and I can't stand looking at them. Oh, I guess she had the rest of the flowers. We have the flower of sunshine, twilight, dawn, mist, and drizzle, my nizzle. We can now return to the southern sage. I think he was way back on. See, but wasn't he in the middle? Yeah. He's in the desert, the desert of love. That's the dwarves. Thank you. Here is the letter to the Grand Library. Show it to me. Surely allow you to use the library. Let's 
Sorry, we gotta hoof it, folks. Stay alive and listen. We're going all the way back to the Grand Library now. Explained. I'm not granting access to anyone who's not recommended by the Northern Sage or Southern Sage. And no, I don't care if you know the King or all the wizards from the Wizards Council. I'm not letting more barbarians into the library. All right, you seem to be trustworthy. At least that's what the Sage says in this letter. Very well. I hope I won't regret it. I'm granting you access to the Great Library. You've read dragons and other mythical creatures. You've read animals of the world. Castle construction. Advanced castle construction. You've read the secret of the enchanted forest and learned a secret gain plus 50, and it's green, which means it's important. Comprehensive elven culture compendium. Comprehensive dwarven culture compendium. The art of tax collection. How to kill your first dragon. Complete guide for aspiring knights. How to take care of your equipment. How to take care of your noble steed. How to retire from knighthood. Tales of Amberland. Exotic plants and how to grow them. And smoke them as well. Royal Dynasties of the Western Territories. Night Stories Volume 1. Night Stories Volume 2. The Who's Who's of the Wizarding World. The First Wizard's Council. The Second Wizard's Council. So many books. The Edge of the World. Beyond the Edge of the World, How to Siege a Castle. Animals of the World, Volume 3 and Volume 2 and Volume 1. Oh my god. We did so much reading, everyone. We are so fucking knowledgeable. Go take care of this abandoned mine down here. the Dungeon of Doom. Started to do this, it's got the big nasty trolls in it. Cave trolls, we're probably gonna stomp the shit out of them now.
found out again it's supposed to be an abandoned mine. Without all these people coming in to pester me, how'd you even find me? Never mind. Take these precious blue and red vials and don't tell anyone I live here, okay? Alright, finally got some new vials. Tiny map, but yes, all we needed here was the vials. Head to the lower twin tower. Look at all these fuckers. Get properly buffed here. All right, feeling better. Fairy dust. Lightning resistant ring and a sword of slain. Sword of Slain is awesome, because Slayer gives that crit hit chance. Still haven't found... ...a better weapon. We had a 10% crit chance with the axe. I have to give it to, to, to Palace, I think. I need to get you boys some fucking axes, man. Yeah, that's a pretty big uh, percentage for a crit, I'd say.
charge! Focus! Get back all our MP. I think we're using it. Hello. Atlas of Sea Monsters. Arcanid Breeding Techniques. Yeah, let us walk through that field. Azric's ring. Not the cheap, shitty version. It's Faldrix the Warlock, the new owner of Lower Twin Tower. You see a warlock sitting on granite throne surrounded by an impenetrable sphere of magic. How dare you obliterate my minions! My war with the wizard from Upper Twin Tower is no concern of yours! You're right. It's not. Wow, Razzix Ring. Lightning resistance, poison, confusion, and petrification immunity. Actually, perfect for Palace. Nice ring. <laughs> we need a stronger heal spell. I don't think they give it to us until level 30. Uh, luckily, we're about to hit level 26.
All right, well, we do have the six magic dust. We actually have eight now. <clears throat> Like we have a boat to get us a little bit closer, quicker. Ho, boat on a boat and hoes. Dog Castle. You go all the way around. Well, that's where we need to go. I'm just going to leave our boat here. Close enough. Excellent. I'm ready now. I see. All right. I know where it is. There's a withered tree in the nearby mountains. Go there and wait a bit. As you approach the tree, you see an eagle in the distance. It comes closer and closer, then lands on a branch just over your head. It's a magnificent eagle, one you've never saw before. You see a shiny object in its claws. It's the blue orb! When you extend your cupped hands to the eagle, it gently drops the orb into your hands. As it turns to fly away, you almost swear it winks at you. 10,000 XP, and we have the first quest orb. The ancient blue orb, one of the legendary ancient orbs. It is said that there were 12 of those crafted eons ago by the elves. The skill and magic required to craft such artifacts has been long lost. over there we're gonna go visitors how unexpected that'll make you more knowledgeable plus when knowledge for all party members earn title visited edge of the world disciples of the masters of knowledge Aww. I don't want my boat to get stuck over there, so we're going to take it all the way back. We're going to seek out the Master of Strength. Say, so brute force is just about. Well, brute forced. But let me tell you, that's not exactly true. There's some clever tricks I can show you, and that's what I'm going to do now. Plus one strength for everybody, and we get the Disciples of Master of Strength. <sighs> we 
found a very purple cave. Fabulous caverns made of magic crystals. Fuck it, let's try it out. Gonna wait until the day passes so I can... Well, I need to rust anyways. And I probably should have taken this shitty mesmerize off. Magic caverns, feel free to mine the crystals, but do not litter or disrupt my peace. The wizard of the magic caverns. These little goblins are fucked. You pixelated Bukaki. Leader of the Mountain of Goblins. Welcome to the Everland Ghetto. Adam and Tidor, whirling longsword, silver chainmail, and a heavy sword. And another crystal to fucking boot. The magic caverns lives here. Behave and don't disrupt me with trivial matters. I've been living in these caverns for years when those filthy goblins came. I can't stand it. I've tried goblin repellent, goblin poison, I even put up magic barriers, but nothing keeps them out. Can you believe that one day I found one sleeping in my bed? Can you imagine? The smell! Ugh. Get rid of them. I'll pay you generously. Finally, I can breathe again. Here, take this gold. Also, take this red vial as a bonus. Easy peasy. Easy as goblin pie, one might say. All right, where to now? Got a black, a lot of black over here. Let's check it out. Well, 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 it's Mermaid Berg. 
Welcome to our trade, Devil Traveler. We are the hub of the trade in Amberland. Almost all ships from around the world stop here. I have proposed to Princess Ophelia, the most beautiful princess in the land. I will duel anyone who disagrees that she is the most beautiful. But alas, she's turned me down. Can you imagine? She does not want me. No, this can't be happening. It can't. Uh, oh, Princess Ophelia, why? Why don't you answer my love? I would give you everything, anything. Your voice is like a tiny sweet bird in the morning. Your eyes are like a crystal blue lake. Your skin is shiny like the tip of my shield which I cater to and polish each day. Yes, my shield, that's what I polish. Why, oh why, don't you answer my love? Is there some strange lover who's already conquered your twat? Has he laid siege to your vagina and you have surrendered your voluptuous taco lips to him already? Oh, Princess Ophelia. Exotic spice, buy a packet, you won't regret it. Here you go, a packet of magnificent exotic spice. I feel you're going to make some cook very happy. Unless you want to eat it raw, which I don't re recommend. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Being goofy as fuck over here. We have exotic fish and exotic spice. I believe we need one more exotic food for the exotic food questicle. Three exotic delicacies for the cook at the royal castle. Six pieces of adamantite ore. Well, we have two. All right. Gained a couple levels there, and we will take strength. Knowledge. Let's give everyone a strength this this level. It's been a while. All right, got forty five crystals. Still far as fuck away. I'm getting our ultimate cloak of resistance. The available craftsmen. We need to get more craftsmen up in here. That's why we I believe you get up to five craftsmen, and then that's when you unlock all the good shit. Yep, just gonna keep hanging on to my stuff here. So it looks our strength. Lug Lug's getting both those, and Ray Stalin will get the elixir of knowledge. Lug Lug, get all the goodies. Doesn't put him too far ahead in strength, but enough to kick the shit out of someone. Heavy sword sounds sucky. So those warm gloves. Worldly long sword, no fucking way. Crap, complete crap. Guess all the uh, wells just heal.
Welcome, children of Uru. You came here looking for the green orb, haven't you? The white wizard of the human king has sent you. Here it is. I've been safe keeping it for a millennia. By the old pact we have signed, I am now granting it to the human king's wizard. Tell him to take good care of it. There are not many of them left. Well, that was easy. put all the humans up another level. We'll just hold off for now. While we're over in this area, let's go ahead and take on the Red Knight Citadel. Notice this boat doesn't have the big mast that this one has. It can't go into the dark blue water. You gotta have a big mast to get into the big blue water. Matter of fact, let me park this. Right here, actually. It's like another bridge. I don't know if we're going to need to buff for this. We probably should. We're fighting. It's going to make us that much stronger, but it's already hour 11. Just thinking about just saving it. Mapping shit out while we do it. Underpaid halberdiers. Can't use magic. Significantly reduced hit. Uh. There we go, we got cleansing of the mind. All right, hour zero. It's 
Looks like these guys are fucked now. Champion! I'm about to bust out some spells. Mithril Dagger, yay! The Heavy Sword, yay! Of course, some of these dungeons are going to seem easier than others because of just the order of doing them in. So it probably could have been done earlier, but would have been more challenging, obviously. Just assuming all levers need to be pointed down. Azure Necklace. Cold and Lightning Resistance. He's Lug Lug is doubled up on Acid here, so we can get rid of that and give him the Azure Necklace. We'll give him Resistance to Cold and Lightning. That's a good... Good option for me! Thank you! Well, out of mana. Are we out of mana? Focus! Play a song! Get more magic back even. This fucking pussy. The Red Knight. Tear him the fuck up. So we got the fire resistance package here. problem is, is it all gives you fire, so putting it all on is super redundant. Oh, 
putting that shield on as opposed to silver large shield? Yeah. Getting the fire resistance and the toughness is nice. I like having that immunity there. That's going to be tough to get rid of. It weighs too much. I don't want to get rid of the Helmet of Heroes. I like the strength. And I like accuracy also. That's toughness plus two on that red armor, though. Yeah, let's give Futures the Helmet of Heroes. He can wear it. That'll give him a little better armor, plus two strength and fear immunity. Almost give Rhea a helmet. If we can get her some lighter armor. I'm telling you, man, that Helmet of Heroes is the shit. Fear immunity and strength plus two. I love that. So I guess we'll just go with the uh, the shield here. Fire resistance for Lug Lug and the toughness of plus one. That place is toast. Alright, let's head back to this area here. Mithril Mines. One of many dwarven mines. This one contains deposits of Mithril and connects to an underground dwarven city. We need to find those three ancient orbs for the royal wizard so he can weaken the spell of forgetfulness. There are enemies nearby. That's inconvenient. Lug Lug got petrified.
To the mine too deep, and now the monstrosities have emerged. Still, the situation is much better than in the deep mine, which has become so infested we had to abandon it. Well, I think we need uh, immunity to petrification finally. Ouch, that's expensive. We need to stop that from happening for sure. Finally, I'm getting close to power heal, mass power heal, and cure petrification. Ah! Yeah, we need that fucking pronto, baby. Now we're going to need to put that petrification armor on him. And sacrifice... Let's see... Who cares, as long as he's not getting petrified. Whoa, these are two different mines. Assuming it's only a melee attack that will cause the petrification.
Hey, motherfuckers. There go fucking crazy, man. Oh, yeah, power cure is going to be very welcome. Need five thousand one hundred experience, y'all. Deep mining zone ahead. D and D to the east. Mithril Dagger! My favorite thing to sell! Alright, well, Rhea's got enough to level to 30, so we're gonna get that fucking shit. We're at our hour, but we're gonna keep going and clear this motherfucker. since I blew through my specials. <laughs> Onyx plate mail. Ooh, three pieces of adamantite tight ore. Fuck yeah, baby. Onyx plate mail plus 10 armor, confusion, fear, and mesmerize. That's what old boy Crank's already wearing.
recovery, baby. Holy shit, these fuckers are everywhere. I have a yellow helmet. That's it. Mainly came down here for the Ottoman Tyke. walking by behind. Kill them all. Fucking finger hit hurts from clicking the fucking mouse. That's right, bitches. Feel it groovy. Ate some chicken legs. Now I'm feeling fucking good as new.
All right. Well, we got five pieces of ore. We need one more. There we go. Alright, let's give Lug Lug back his other armor now. The heavy yellow helmet. Got a little bit of acid and poison immunity. Acid resistance, poison immunity. Gotta add my helmet of the heroes, baby. armor up to 10. That's just too much. That's just way too much. Huh. Don't have poison immunity on old Crank. This would give him acid resistance as well lose the accuracy, but he can wear this helmet. I feel like that might be better. Again, accuracy, you take the better roll, but roll twice for damage? I don't know. It's a tough call. Visor helmets seems to be pretty good, but also having poison immunity is pretty dope. Especially because we have it on all three of our front fighters. Let's talk about the fact that we have power heal finally, which as you can see from normal heal, 36 to 75, this says 180 to 300, so I'm looking forward to using that. Not looking forward to spending all that MP, but we'll get it down to, uh... oh, it looks like it just does more and more, more healing. Always costs 40 MP, but once it's level five, it heals a shitload. Mass power heal, pretty nice. And, of course, Cure Petrification, that will go down in cost. But hey, that's a big time needed spell. We also now have Amplify Resistances. So all resistances provide greater damage reduction. No effect if the hero doesn't have the resistance. So basically, if you have Lightning and Fire Resistance, this makes it even better, but you have to have that resistance in the first place. So, Lug Lug has resistance from everything. These will all be amped up. His acid resistant will be amped up, and his lightning resistant will be amped up. Lug Lug's got it made. That's because I gave him the Azure necklace. He's got the spider silk armor and the red shield. Lug Lug's just a fucking beast, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.